Previously we've left Bundy, we've come across Queensland, Cameron's Corner, down the Swizzlecki track and then across the Nullarbor, made our way to Kalgoorlie, down to Esperance, then we followed the coast right the way around, right the way around until we came up through the Pilbara, which was fantastic, then we up to Broome, then into Cape Levick, and we've come across to Fitzroy's Crossing Halls Creek into the Bungle Bungles, and then we've, because we met up with me mum and they had a two-wheel drive vehicle, so they We've stayed on the highway here with them, but we've taken them a bit of off-roading with the Datsun. And we found ourselves back at Fitzroy Crossing. All right, this is all very exciting. We're in back to, came out of our way back to Fitzroy Crossing from the Bungles. And now we're heading towards the Geeky Gorge or Geeky Gorge to go on a boat tour. So hopefully we see some crocs. Leone's really excited about seeing some crocodiles. Apparently in the Tunnel Creek we're heading to tomorrow, there'd be crocodiles. Boonaba country today. So Boonaba country is an enormous stretch of land. It's about six and a half thousand square kilometres. It travels from Fitzroy Crossing, which is a bit of a common area for a few different groups of people. It comes up under Ongari to Diamond Gorge, cuts west to the Wingena area, and then from there goes south to Count Carden, goes back to Fitzroy Crossing, kind of north and south of the Great Northern Highway, it comes around a little bit and it's one of that. Six and a half thousand square crossing and they're putting in a lot of effort to re refind and reclaim their culture and get back out onto the country and it's about a thousand kilometres long from start to finish. It starts in Kununurra and winds its way all the way to Derby. There are some sections where the limestone is over a kilometre deep. 14 kilometres wide as well. It was actually formed over 350 million years ago during the Devonian period and it was actually a barrier reef when this area was a large warm ocean. The limestone here actually contains quite a few fossils of ancient corals, ancient frogs, a little bit of freeze. We're all going to find out whether I'm actually a good skipper or not here because I'm going to try and get a good photo of this right now. Yeah, this is a cool little day out in the boat. About 35 bucks each or something. Goes for an hour. Um, Bitchman Road all the way here, so it was pretty civilised. Yeah, some of these little caves can be like 25 metres deep. Back in the day, the Aboriginals used to, well, in the hot, wet season, get up in there and hide out and store some food and stuff. And if there were cyclones and stuff like that, they'd be able to hide out. Very smart. This is the water coming down from our wet season, forming small cracks and then opening up into larger cracks and larger cracks. That's horizontal. Yeah. A little bird's nest. Another bit of a road yeah. grow up under here. Really yeah. Depending on what height they side. set up each but year, depends on how the thick the wet season is going to be. In such a rough way, not all lines are going to be part of the roads. But all nature is definitely smarter than us. Carry so much sand. They have the correct time and invested in the right way. It actually has an effect very similar to LSD. But when it's not processed in the right way, it gives you a horrible feeling. Quite enough to be my... So our man here was just telling us that on these beaches in the river here, the crocodiles will come along, dig a nest about a metre deep, lay their eggs, and then leave, never come back. And then 75 to 90 days later, another crocodile will hear the little ones you know, squealing so they'll come and help them uncover and then, then um, help them to the water and then that's it They're no parenting everything crocodiles know they learn themselves so that's pretty cool and we'll try and listen to some birds on as well yeah it's pretty special looks really good with the sun on it Just stop the engine so we can all take nice little photos and videos of the sunset. Oh, look at that. Now you just point out, you can see the reflection. 
Uh, yeah, well, just need a crocodile to jump out. That'd be sensational. <laughs> so now we're in the Leopold Ranges. We've just come up from where, where did we stay last night, Fitzroy Crossing, and we're heading into Tunnel Creek. So this is all very exciting. Every man and their dogs here today. Apparently, you've got to carry torches and you get real wet. And should be good. So Leone's really excited here because there's freshwater crocodiles, but these people we just spoke to reckon haven't seen any. Someone's lost an iPhone. It's written on the sign over here. It's all very tragic. So this is your tunnel risk area. Yeah, no, it's going to be good. Don't watch your step, Leone. Don't watch your step. I said watch your step. Don't fall. Oh, it's a bit cooler once you get out of that uh, sun. How good is this? Big rocks to walk through there, Loz. Don't go falling over and breaking your head. Yeah, no, that's pretty cool. So this looks like the entranceway to Tunnel Creek. So this is the way, there's a poor old gent struggling to climb around everything. So these people tell us that this is the only way to do it. It is the only way. Yeah, this is the only way through. <laughs> Hang on, love. <laughs> How good's that? Yes, yeah, so you just got to climb in through here. This is fun. <laughs> oh. But that, they tell us, is the hardest part. And then we reckon to this nice, big, beautiful bit. Oh, look at that. There's a concrete pathway through there. <laughs> no. Wacko, man. This is pretty cool. It's looking straight up. Yeah, everyone's got their torches. This is definitely uh, worth that bit of a climb in. It's going to good that the hardest part's right at the start. What do you reckon, Jen? You glad you got through? Okay. Looking forward to getting back out? No. <laughs> oh, so this is inside the Tunnel Creek. Oh. Woo! The girls are hitting the cold water. <laughs> this is excellent. I'm amazed that it's so gnarly climbing in here. But uh, yeah, no, this is good. Everyone's got their torches. Wow. All right, I've come in as far as I can with um, dry feet. I'm committed now. I'm into the uh, thing. What do you think, darling? Is it, is it cold and lovely? I need to do a wee. <laughs> okay, thanks for sharing. <laughs> what do you reckon, Loz? You glad you came this far? If this could be as far as Loz goes. Oh, uh, you'll be right. It's easy, they said. How are you travelling, Jen? So here's the girls wading through the water. We've all got wet feet now. We're wet up to our knees. Everyone tells us you've got to swim through to your neck. So we'll see how we go with that. <laughs> you right there, Jen? <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, um, it's, watch your step, Loz. It's a bit fun doing this with the old girls. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow, there's water dripping off these uh, stalactites or stalactites, whatever you call them. Look up, Jen, when you've got your footing. Bloody beautiful. Wacko, man. So now we're in this bit, we've got to swim. This is all, this is commitment. The girls have already done it, and I've got to carry the gear in one hand and try and keep everything dry. So this should be fun. Whoa, this water is so cold. Woo, this water is freezing. I'm videoing it. <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah, I can see where I've got to go. i just got to do this cold. Oh, I hate cold water. Woo. Cold water is nasty. All right, suck it up, big boy. No, I don't like the more cold. <laughs> one, two. Dog pad on the one hand. Jesus. Oh, that water is so cold. 
Well done, Dutchin. We're alive. We made it. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> We lived. And from crawling through, oh, here's mum just helping us through. Oh, sorry, let me go, Loz. They would. So this is inside the tunnel creek. She's a ripper of a tunnel. It's bloody freezing. It's bloody freezing, Loz reckons. But yeah, so, oh man, this is magic. We had to swim, that water was so cold. Us Queenslanders don't like that. Oh well, yeah, I know, but I'm just a bit soft. I, I like it. I like it piss warm for me to go to for a swim. So I like the wet Sundays. Me too. <laughs> but yeah, oh well, worth it. How spectacular is this? And look at all these stalagmites and stuff. This again, I'm I'm positive that the phone camera won't do this place justice, man. Definitely worth the trip out to uh, Tunnel Creek up here in the Kimberley. Absolutely stunning. Here we go. I'll give Jen the interview on YouTube. What do you reckon, Jen? Pretty good. Oh, pretty awesome. Are you glad you uh, climbed over those rocks and shit yourself? <laughs> Not quite. Yeah. Oh, no, that was, this is well worth it, mate. This was a great day out. Awesome. Yeah, I'm so glad we came and done this. We're halfway. We're halfway, and I'm getting water's dripping on me, so I'm guessing there's something... Yeah, we haven't got... Because you've got, like, yeah, all these little things falling out of the roof. Oh, it's beautiful. Haven't seen any bats yet. And I doubt you'll see crocodiles because there's so many people here. And one lady told us that they came through and they saw a couple of little baby crocodiles, but... Yeah, cool if we do. This just gets better and better here. You come out of the cave and apparently we're only halfway. This is just beautiful. The old wobbly boot. Wow, man. Yeah, you gotta come out here, whoever's watching this, because this phone camera won't be doing this justice. Oh, yeah. oh you're right there, Jen? Uh, again, another thing that these, um, I'm sure this camera is not gonna do this justice. This looks like a castle. And we only can see a lion. It's just, oh dude, what a stunning, stunning thing. I'll try and zoom in and get a bit better, but I won't hold my breath on it. Get working real well on a phone camera, but man, how cool is this? There's people walking through and what a lovely place to come. This is definitely a highlight. I'm just pointing it out to look back. Like, man, this place is just stunning. So this is the head direction we're heading. Over there, there's mum with her little torch. <laughs> yeah, it's really dark and scary, but yeah, like, you got the, uh, back that was where we just were. Wow, this thing is, yeah, breathtaking. And this cave is just massive. Like, I've only got the little, I don't know if you can see it, just the little torches off the front of the push bikes, um, the little headlights, which, which are quite nifty because they can just go on your finger. But, um, because they're the only little waterproof torches Leonie and I have got with us. Um, but yeah, like, just amazing. Thank God we had these. And we're wearing our sneakers, because our sneakers were putrid after going through the Kimberley and everything. They were just all red and dirty. So we're wearing our sneakers, giving them a wash today, which is a bit civilized. Walking through here. Now we've got a little waterfall here. That noise will make Leonie want to pee, because she's a good girl. She doesn't pee in these national parks. She's very, very classy and good. Wow, look at these big chandeliers up the top here. Oh, look at that. Man, if one of them decides to fall down, you're having a bad day. Oh, this place, this is an absolute highlight. I've never even heard of it before. How crazy is that? For me, this is better than the Bungle Bungles, which was excellent. And um, what else? And yeah, this is a real highlight for me so far. There's a little concrete footpath and everything up here. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, it's kind of. It's a bit rocky. The girls, I reckon, have taken a wrong turn. They're down here in the drink, and I've yeah, yeah. come up over the top here. Yeah. This way seems a little more civilised. How are you going down there, Mum? I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm coming out the other She's side. Mum. Well, that's only for YouTube. That's not for you. How are you going there, Leonie, the beautiful? I did it. You did it, and you haven't I did died. It. I did it. I'm <laughs> The, everyone's shoes are full of sand, they're going to be pretty skank. How are you going there, Jen? Yeah, good. Just putting along good? I'm so happy my shoes are clean. Just do it. Now we're wading through the water. <laughs> Back through the cave, this is just amazing. Just here. 
Here's some um, Aboriginal art we found here, or when people have told us to come looking for. We're at the end of the tunnel, and you can walk down a bit further down the creek, but yeah, this is definitely, definitely, most definitely, if you've never been here before, get your ass over here and check this place out, Tunnel Creek, man. It is just amazing. Yeah, well worth it. What a good little adventure. And this is the mouth of the cave, so yeah, you down here, look down up into the cave, and it brings you out onto this lovely little creek. Oh, it might be. I, mine went underwater. Yeah. I'm sure you're okay to dunk them, but I wouldn't go. So I wouldn't take them scuba. Like, and then the view is just as good going backwards. Yeah, this is this is a very, very, very huge highlight for me, man. I'm just so in love with this place. It's amazing. Our intrepid team of travellers gracefully walk across the rocks. <laughs> Nothing graceful about us. How you going there, baby? Skipping across. Skipping across, beautiful. How you doing, Lozzie? Lozzie found a stick, so she's good. She'll probably stab some fish out the front here and then we'll have lunch with that. So there's the swimming bit. Mum and Jenny are going through now and Leonie's up there guiding them which direction to go to. It's over your head, but it's only for about five metres or so. But yeah. And the water is freezing, so... Oh. We made it back to, to Fitzroy Crossing alive and well. There's a nice little campground we're staying in here at the um, Fitzroy Crossing Resort or something they call it. They've got a big restaurant and pub up the front, which is good. A little expensive, I think it was about 44 bucks a night for an unpowered camp. It's pretty massive, yes. Everyone's alive and well. We've made it out of the tunnel. They're reading their Anyone papers and their iPads and everyone's alive. And now, yeah, so that's us. So that can be the end of part 14. And we'll, um, yeah, then we'll make our way to Derby over the next couple of days and uh, then start hitting the Gibb River Road.